Next, in our PostgreSQL Security Best Practices series, we'll discuss auditing. Database auditing allows database administrators, auditors, and operators to track and analyze database activities in support of complex auditing requirements. These audited activities include database access, database usage, data creation, data change, and data deletion. It is recommended that you audit the following items, user connections, DDL changes, data changes, and data views. Highly detailed levels of scrutiny can result in a lot of log messages. So log only at the level that you need. Obviously, you need to review your audit log frequently for anomalous behavior and establish a change of custody for your logs. Now, beware. In open source PostgreSQL, a high logging level combined with storage of passwords in the database can result in passwords being displayed in the logs. EDB Postgres Advanced Server has advanced logging capabilities that allow you to redact passwords in the audit log. Now with Postgres, you can adjust logging levels at the per user and at the per database basis. In EDB Postgres Advanced Server, you can also control logging at the object type level. So you can look at just logging functions or tables or materialized views, store procedures, triggers, etc. To learn more about auditing, download our white paper, Security Best Practices for PostgreSQL. And stay tuned for our next episode, which will review data security. Use Postgres, get stuff done.